Okay, I sort of actually already answered this question once before, but I misinterpreted this factor of the integrand as hyperbolic sine of 4x. So I answered the wrong question. So here, let's give it another shot. Uh, we're going to use integration by parts. We're told in the directions to let u equal the hyperbolic cosine of 3x. That means dv sub 1 is equal to everything else, the integrand of everything else, which is the sine of 4x dx. So du is 3 sine of hyperbolic sine of 3x. v sub 1 is negative 1 fourth cosine of 4x. So at this point, using the first integration by parts, We've got I equals U times V. That's negative 1 fourth cosine 4X, hyperbolic cosine of 3X, plus, well, it's actually minus the integral of V DU. But when we say negative 1 fourth times 3, we get negative 3 fourths, which this the minus becomes a plus 3 fourths. And then we get the cosine of 4x times the hyperbolic sine of 3x dx. <clears throat> We're going to call this integrand i sub 2 and work on it down here. And let's follow the same pattern, letting u equal the hyperbolic sine of 3x. So du sub 2 is 3 hyperbolic cosine of 3x dx. DV2 sub 2 will be the uh, indefinite integral or antiderivative of everything else. Well, I shouldn't have underlined the dx here. So that's the cosine of 4x dx. So V sub 2 is the antiderivative of this, which is 1 fourth sine of 4x. So I sub 2 using integration by parts is U times V minus the definite integral of v du. And we'll have a minus 3 fourths out front this time. Sine of 4x, hyperbolic cosine of 3x dx. OK. And this is i sub 2. And that's what we're going to replace this with. So now I've got i equals this term plus 3 fourths times i sub 2. So there's the 3 fourths. There's the i sub 2. So we'll distribute the 3 fourths and get 3 sixteenths. 3 fourths times negative 3 fourths is negative 9 sixteenths times this integral right here. But here's the key. That integral is the one we started with. So you can mentally replace it with the letter i. So we can move this term to the left side. 16 sixteenth i plus 9 sixteenths i is 25 sixteenths i. And now to solve for i, we multiply both sides by 25 six, or 16 twenty fifths. So there's the multiplication. 16 twenty fifths times negative 1 fourths gives us this numerical coefficient times this gives us a code. And now add the in a there's your answer right there. Okay, and here's kind of proof. There's your antiderivative. And if you go to Desmos and type in F prime of X and little f of X, they're the same graph, this green dashed line. And here's a kind of a table that proves that these two are equivalent, or at least indicates. And here's a tangent line. If you go to the Desmos graph, you can slide this point along the graph of big F, and you'll see tangent lines at various points along the curve. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.